Hey Pisces, what's up? Good morning, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm gonna be doing a general timeless reading for you guys. Let's see what is in store for my beautiful, beautiful fishies. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Universe, please bring in the most powerful confirmations, the best guidance, and the most accurate predictions for the Pisces watching. Today we're going to be using the Peanut Girl Tarot, which is honestly one of the cutest I've seen. Absolutely adorable. And before we start, I want to thank all of you for your submissions, your applications for the program. We are reviewing all of them. It's so nice to get to know you guys. Like, I can't even, like, I love you all so much. <laughs> we're probably going to be getting back to you um, on Monday, most likely. If we get a chance to do it before, we will too. Alright, so, let's see. Universe, please bring in... Oh, I already did that, yeah. <laughs> I already did that. I'm taking the cards upright, and I am taking them... Um, just the ones that fall on the table, not the ones that flip. Pentacles, Judgment, Seven of Swords, Death, Five of Wands, A Handman, Page of Wands, and the Four of Cups. All right. This is straight. Is it? Oh, it's so hard to tell. Okay, so three of pentacles. Right now, Pisces, I think you're going to be receiving more support than maybe you're used to. Maybe more support than you normally expect from other people. So you may find like your family members or your friends, or your partner, just kind of like showing up, being a little bit more eager to um, help you out with whatever it is that you need, a little bit more eager to, you know, just ask you like, is there anything I can do for you? Is there any money that you may need? Is there any advice that you could be needing? You know, they're, I don't know, they just seem very, very helpful at this time. Allow it, you know, some Pisces may have a little bit of resistance, you know, I got it, don't worry, I'm in control, I know what I'm doing, you know. Um, but in this case, first of all, it really doesn't have anything to do with that. Like, it, it's not like they're implying that you are not in control or that you don't have your shit together. Um, they're just doing it out of pure love, so don't interrupt that flow of energy, just allow it to come in, okay? Judgment here in the challenge position would be letting us know that in some cases there's loved ones in your life that yeah for some of you they could be seeing you struggle a little bit maybe if you have commented to them that you're stressed out or that something is not going as you would like it um, they may be a little bit worried of what could happen if they don't assist you and they feel like they want to come in out of love to just make sure that everything's okay. Again, the advice is let them come in, allow the assistance, don't interrupt the flow of loving energy. Some of you guys may be a little bit um, scared with something that has to do with your heart chakra. So there could be some kind of condition in some of you. Um, you know, it could be even COVID. It could be um, the flu, asthma, it could be something related to the heart, it could be something related to your ribs, or your clavicles, sternum, or your back, you know. And I mentioned all of those areas precisely because she has literally like a scan of that part of her body. And since it is showing up in the judgment position, you may be waiting for some kind of, you know, um, news. 
I would even say, I would say diagnoses, but honestly, I don't think that for the majority of you it goes that far. It's more of just like, you know, maybe you really hit your rib really hard and you're waiting to see if it's actually broken or not. Stuff like that. And I feel like that also um, triggers this response in people around you that care about you. Like, oh, let's just let me take stuff off your plate, Pisces. Like, you're always so busy. You're always so kind. You're always so nice to everybody. Let me just help you out. In the recent past, you have here the Seven of Swords. In the present, death. And in the future, Five of Wands. So right now, I think that there are powerful transformations taking place. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, I know that you know what, you're, what I'm talking about. I know that in your life, things are shifting. Things are moving. And, you know, before they almost show themselves as miracles, as positive changes, sometimes before that happens, they actually present themselves as chaos. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my god, what is happening? Chaos, oh my god. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh wow, like look what came out of that chaos. This is perfect. So I do get a feeling that in the recent past, past few months, even past few years, there have been certain things that maybe you haven't been fully open about, about yourself. Maybe things that you haven't admitted to yourself or to others. Maybe certain aspects of yourself you've kept hidden. Sorry guys, <laughs> I got interrupted. Sometimes calls, like unannounced calls from like people selling stuff and like, you know, all these companies are so aggressive. <laughs> I feel like they're so aggressive. Um, anyway, um, so I was saying that I feel like you're stepping into a higher level of authenticity within you. I feel like before there were certain aspects of yourself that, yes, were hidden, but I don't feel like they were hidden because you wanted hidden, but because you maybe weren't aware of them necessarily. And that layer of who you are now seems to be fading, seems to be dissolving and allowing you to be your most authentic self in the present moment. You have light, you have dark, you know, and in the past, I feel like maybe you over identified with the light, meaning you were very, very, very um, interested in being perceived as a good person. You were very interested in how everybody reacted to you. You know, what you said, how did that make them feel? You know, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. And even though there is value in that, of course, um, some of you actually kind of like diminished your light and yourself and the space that you occupied in the world because you wanted to please everybody. And now you're like, you know what? Fuck it. This is who I am. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy my life. And you can react in whatever way. You choose, not my problem. And this is giving you a whole lot more freedom, okay? In the future, I see you here, free, happy, excited, speaking and living your truth, and people around you learning how to deal with that. <laughs> so, you know, some of you could be changing jobs. Some of you could be more open about hobbies or things that you like to do that could be considered taboo. Some of you may be coming out of the closet. Some of you may be um, changing your look radically and doing so in a way that it simply makes you happy and, you know, everyone can have their reactions, whatever. If you feel like you already are like that, then in this time, you may feel like you're taking it up to another level, like it's going to happen again, like another cycle of that. You are being represented here by the hanged man. Honestly, I feel free, like freedom coming out of this reading. Freedom, freedom, freedom. New perspectives. You may feel like there's certain things that are up in the air, but I don't get that usual energy that I get with the hangman, which is a little stagnant, like just sitting there and waiting for things to happen. I get a feeling of you being in a space in which you can look around and say, when nothing is certain, everything is possible. 
and owning it and being happy about it. Also feeling very curious, excited, passionate. Maybe you want to, um, maybe you're dealing with someone. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your life. We also have Pisces, Scorpio um, energy here. There could be someone in your life that is bringing that out in you. Wanting, making you want to explore, to travel, to have fun, to enjoy yourself in all sorts of ways. Yeah, I feel like you are really getting out of your comfort zone, Pisces. I really feel you stepping out of that and into a space of, you know what, I'm just going to have fun. And if people are here and they want to help me out, I'm going to let them all help me out so my life can be easy, easier or easy at all. <laughs> and with the time and energy that I have left, I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm getting a lot of this like you only live once um, vibe, which every Pisces, I think the vast majority hears that and it's like, you don't only live once, but okay, I get the vibe. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> um, so something like that, like, let's just say you only live this particular life once and you get to enjoy it, okay? So that's my fishies, what I'm getting for you right now. Lovely energy, lovely, lighthearted, uplifting vibes for you. And I can't wait to see, you know, how you're going to choose to have fun in your life. Because you get to. This one was very short and sweet. I'm probably going to be posting other readings today. But I hope that you have a wonderful day today, wonderful weekend, you guys. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your applications. Thank you for absolutely everything. Um, members here on the channel, thank you guys for being members. I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye, loves.